An object is lying stationary on a slanted surface with three forces acting on it as indicated in the diagram. So here you can see the object on a surface. That surface is slanted and they even give us the degrees with which it is slanted. Okay, And with that in mind we see that they also name the three forces acting on it. There's force A, force B and force C. Now to continue we need to answer their questions. Name the three forces. Okay, so what are the three forces acting on it? We see A is this force that seems to make a 90 degree angle with the surface. That is simply called the normal force or the perpendicular force. Perpendicular force or normal force. Okay. Uh, just spelled wrong. Perpendicular force. B. What is B? Well, B seems to be a force that is upwards on this uh, slope. And we would suspect that this thing would slide downwards. So why isn't it sliding downwards? Well, obviously there must be friction on that surface. And the friction is opposing the direction of motion. So B must be the frictional force. Okay. And then C we notice is vertically down. That can only be one force to my mind and that would be weight. Okay. Now they ask us what is the magnitude of the net force on the object? Do you know? Do we know the values? Do we need to know the values of the forces acting on it? Do we need to know the weight? Well, all we need to know is that an object is lying stationary on a slanted surface. According to Newton's first law, an object that is not in motion will stay not in motion unless a net force is acting on it. Okay, which means that this one has no net force or net force equal to zero newtons. Preview. Very happy with that.